wealth beyond imagining. Gold, the lost treasure of a great empire. The empire was called Tawantinsuya, Kingdom of the Inca. White men called it something else. For them, it was El Dorado. They found that the fabled cities of gold were real. But if the mountains could speak, they would tell a sad story. A story of lust and greed and treachery. Men still search, some out of love for the past, some out of love for gold. Well, hey, everybody. Jeff Williams here with who? Yeah, that's right. You better know who. AskJeffWilliams.com. Now, what am I doing today? Well, I've got a big surprise for you. Come here. Take a look at this. What the heck is that? That's right. Teotihuacan. That's what that is. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's the Pyramid of the Sun. Sun. <laughs> I'm gonna wait to say that all day. We're gonna try to make it to the top. Man, that looks like a lot of, ooh, there's a big squirrel right there. And then they got uh, the Pyramid of the Moon, too. If we got a chance, we'll go over and take a look at that. But I just wanted you to get a good look and all these interesting features uh, on the landscape here, all these different pyramids. A lot of people don't know what they're for, but I know what they're for. <laughs> and I'll tell you about it when I get up there, son. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Gotta cover up. So come on, let's go. Now over there is the old soccer fields. I'll give you some history about that in a minute. You know what that is? That's right, that's a rubber ball. I know it don't seem like much, but it was the ball that they used in what? The ball games. Come here, look at this. Do you see that? This is called the ball game, and I'm sure you've heard of it. But anyway, you got two teams, and you have opposing sides, and you got one here, and you got one here. They'd have to use their hips or their elbows to try to get that ball in through that little hole. You see that? And the whole game was based off of a ritual that was supposed to symbol, be symbolic about the trials and tribulations of the sun as it passed around. So if they happened to do a move that was against the movement of the sun, then a decapitation was in order, son. That means losing your head. And yeah, they did lose their heads and there was a place called a rack of the skulls where they would put those heads. They are descendants of a race which conceived, conquered, then lost to a handful of Spaniards, one of the world's most remarkable empires. Imagine putting a ball through there with just your elbows or your hips. No way. <laughs> but you better, because you just might lose your head, son. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to say, huh? Go! No, so come on. Let's go. All right, we're going to head on up and see what we can do. These stairs are looking pretty steep. Let's see how far we can get. Ah, yeah. Man, I'll tell you what, you do this every day and you'll be in really good shape. You can see the whole valley. You can see that over there. That's the pyramid of the moon over there. You see that? Isn't that nice? A lot of you guys are probably wondering, Jeff, why are you wearing this scarf? Well, I hate to tell you, son, but that sun is killing me out here. It's hotter than it should be. So you gotta wear some protection. Man, these steps are steep, look at this. See how steep that is? Wow. Now that's some serious steps. Look at that. Of course, there's the Pyramid of the Moon. Over there, you see that? All right, enough jaw jacket. We gotta get on up there, son. See what's at the top. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? You better know what I'm going to say. So come on. Let's go. What a view, huh? And I'm not even at the top yet, son. Look at that. I still can't figure out why they put these little rocks here. Let me show you. Little rocks protruding out all over the place. See that? Still don't know why they got those there. Look at that. Look at that. Still got a ways to go to get to the top, so you know what I'm going to say, huh? You better know what I'm going to say, son. So come on. Let's go. I know why they call it the Pyramid of the Sun now. Because by the time you get to the top, 
you're at the sun. Sun. All right, look at this. I want you to take a peek at this. These are really steep stairs. You see that? You see that? <laughs> so we're gonna go up this way. You gotta hold close to the ground, son of Jim. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, there's the top right there. Look at that view. Still can't figure out how they did this. Last section. <laughs> Here we go. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, you want to get what you're worth. But you've got to be willing to take the hit and not point fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. There's the top. Look at that view down there. See all that down there? Isn't that pretty? Whew. All right. Still got a little ways to go to make it to the very top. There's the very top right there, you see? All right, here we go. Ah, dig deep, dig deep, son. Ah. Whew. Whew. And that is the very top. Look at that. What a panoramic view, huh? And there's the very top stone. Right there, look at that. Look at that. They, they're all over the place here. What a view, huh? What a view. Okay, now, over there, you see that? That is the Pyramid of the Moon. Now, I'm gonna go over there and take a look at that too. I think you're gonna wanna see that, don't you? So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Well, I ain't gonna say it. Mm, I'll say it anyway, so come on, let's go. What am I looking at? See that? That is basically what's behind me right now. You see that? And it's built in layers because the bigger the temple, the more powerful you were considered. And that's why they built it and built it and built it and made it bigger and bigger. Now, in the background here, see this? You got all these different layers. I don't know if you can see that. There's a layer there, there's a layer there. Anyway, they would continually build upon each layer built up and up and up over the next one, over the next one. Well, the top layer is missing. Why? I'll tell you, son, that's why. Is because they use a lot of this to build the existing cathedrals and churches in the area. Anyway, I'm gonna go over here and show you because you'll get a better look. So you know what I'm gonna say, you better know. Now, they used to have a lot of their ceremonies here, but I wanted to show you was, they got two frogs over here to the very front entrance, and they've got all these serpents back here. Can you see that? Now the serpents, like I told you, was very important because they did a lot of worshiping to the serpents, the serpent gods, the gods of knowledge, uh, the winged serpents, things of that nature. And you see it depicted here a lot, so we're gonna keep moving along. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna say, huh? So come on, let's go. All right, now let's get on up in here. You can see all the different walls and stuff. And look at that. There's the very center of the pyramid. Right there, you can see all the different layers I was talking about. What's happening is we're passing from one temple wall to the next. Remember, you, I showed you how it was built in layers? So we're passing through one layer to another layer to another layer. We're getting closer and closer to the very center of the pyramid, which is where the very center of it started. And you can see this. And each one of these has a story to be told. Mythic legend that tells about how they expanded it and the wars and all the sacrifices they had to make to build it. It's really fascinating. Ooh, what do you think about that, son? Hmm? It's pretty interesting, huh? All right, now I'm gonna take you over to Cathedral, take you in there, because it's really interesting. You don't see this stuff every day. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? <laughs> you better. So come on, let's go. 
Wow, look at that. You see that sun? That's the main cathedral. I know, it's windy. Look at that. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, I know. I'm going to go inside, so just hold on. But I want you to see something first. Look at this. See that? There's these glass panels all over the place. And what's in there? This is part of the old ancient pyramid structures down here. That's why they got glass here so you can see them, son. All right. So I'm going to go inside and show you what it looks like. I ain't going to do no talking because, well, you know why. Don't be silly. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on. Let's go. Finally, we made it over here to where? That's right. The Pyramid of the Moon, son. Whew, man, that's a steep one, too. <laughs> Take a look at this one. Yeah, look at those steps. You know what I'm going to say, huh? <laughs> I don't got to say it. But I'll say it anyway. Shh, so come on. Let's go. Tell you what, who needs a gym? Just own a pyramid. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Must be a thousand steps here. It's the leg burner 101. <sighs> Okay. Whew. There we go. Uh, of course, you can't make it to the top because the top is blocked off. See that? I hope you've enjoyed this short little video of us going to the Great Pyramids of Mexico. And if you like today's video, well, you know what you gotta do. So I'm gonna get on out of here so I can find some more stuff to take a look at and show you. So, you know what I'm gonna say, don't you? You better. So come on, let's go. 